but you can't hear it behind. That's interesting. This one here has been christened by Ian Thorpe as the most functional sculpture because you can use it as a diving board. Uh, I don't know if this is dedicated to our Olympians, but if you dive off that, you're not going to get very far. You'll actually land in a windmill. And in the shit, it's the fat. But that little push, and it's still moving. It's fascinating. I think my sister would like this one, who really likes horses. This is a horse and rider. How appropriate to Melbourne that? Cup. How do you do that? And it's woven out of fibres. It almost looks like a Clydesdale is riding here. Quite beautiful, really. Beautifully made. And take a close up of his face and the detail of this fibre artist. It's quite, quite incredible, really. That's. Oh, this blows my mind. It is pretty amazing, isn't it? How could they have done that? So, those who bag fibre artists, fibre artists can really do amazing things. What a backdrop to put it on, too. Now this one, for some reason, reminds me of the dikes on bikes. Don't ask me why. They're probably not dikes at all, but they are in different colours. I don't know if they come in different colours, but they are in different colours. And if you look at the side, you can actually see personalities. There's one there. None of them have got crash helmets on, naughty girls. a connotation of Mardi Gras. I'm oh, sure they're going. All of this is a white elephant. Well, we also have an elephant here as well. Seems a lot of people have lost their shoes here. But each shoe is made individually. And now, I think this is a clothes peg. Or is it? No, I think it's a clothes peg. better than having one horse made out of fibre in the sculpture park. Is what's better is two horses. This one is made of iron. No rider. This one is standing quite stolidly here with wheels. Well here we are on the beach of Tamarama, as we not call it, Glamarama. And what would you find on Glamorama but coloured glass, rose coloured glasses, every coloured glass.
here he is, which I cannot shoot the front of, or YouTube will put me another dot next to my name, because <laughs> the last time I did that, the David Jones mannequin, they thought they could see a lump in the wrong place. Well, it's definitely a lump this, over there. This sculpture has a penis on it, so I won't put this on YouTube for risk of having my channel cancelled. So, how am I going to take this photo? I have to do a close-up here of the top. strikes me is the expression on his face. A giant child. Here he is. Looking out into the ocean. With a very strange look on his face. I wonder whether or not they stole this diamond here from the Harbour Bridge a few years ago when there was a diamond hanging from it. It looked just like this one. Interesting, but I haven't seen it since. In terms of originality, I don't know. I don't know if it's that original we've seen it before. Now this on the other hand is interesting. Made out of bamboo. Very interesting. The material is stronger than iron. Again, the use of wind moving this thing around a bit. That's amazing. There's something very tribal about this. Isn't it? Yeah. People are watching it and wondering why are we watching this? But today we have something. Even the writing up here says something more than events here. <laughs> and this, the timekeeper itself, I wonder what sort of watch this is. Mommy, Somebody left their watch on the beach. And it does not keep the right time. It's the wrong time on this watch here. Now I think over here we have a big skull. We've just had Halloween yesterday, Festival des Mortes, and here we have a skull on the beach. It's made of little Coca Cola bottoms with funny titty bits in them. Fascinating. A bit of recycling here. I like that, recycling. And yet it looks like gems. Marvellous example of recycling. I just love this tree here. It reminds me of six feet under for some reason. Without a tribute to the fat Aussie bastard. 